Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics thought they had a lick on Friday night with the struggling Brooklyn Nets in their building. First quarter, it was all about the phenomenal play of Jalen Brown. I love how like once every five or six games, Brown will say, you know, I let Tatum rock out more times than not, but I can be the lead scorer if I wanted to. Then Derek White going baseline, hitting us with the reverse, reverse. And then there's that man, Tatum, one of the league's top scorers. But go back to Brown. Look at this nasty jab step, then footwork, footwork, and one. Brown had 35 points to lead Boston. Tatum once again struggled from the field. That's happened a few times of late. Had 22 points. It took him 23 shots. The Boston Celtics, though, would go up by as many as 28. But the Nets are not done fighting. How about Mikael Bridges making some plays? And then look at that old Dallas chemistry translating over for Brooklyn. Spencer Dinwiddie to Dorian Finney-Smith. And at the half, the Nets gain some ground and they keep it going in the third. Cam Johnson ties the game up at 70 with a three-pointer. Look at Bridges. He had himself a game. Dinwiddie once again finding Dorian Finney-Smith for three. This game goes from a big-time Boston league to now Brooklyn's running away from this thing. Specifically, Mikel Bridges, another big night. How about 38 points for Bridges? Nine rebounds, four assists. The Nets now own the biggest comeback victory of the season. They were down 28 and beat the number two seed out east by 10. How about Mikael Bridges? A little quick quote here. I'm not going to do too much with it. After the game, he said, I think when I got traded, it was kind of the right time because when everyone was out in Phoenix, all the injuries that they had, he said, I had to take up another road offensively and be more aggressive. By the time I got traded, I was just in a great rhythm and I was confident. It was just a great timing. I feel like if I can get to some of my spots personally, I feel like I can make shots. I'm just trying to be aggressive. And that you are another huge game for Mikael Bridges, 38 points, a huge comeback win for the Brooklyn Nets. They have no business playing this good. Like I said earlier, Brooklyn's going to be one of those interesting teams because they got a, a pretty good spot out east off the backs of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. And obviously they got dealt at the trade deadline. It's just a unique situation to have a team that good blow it up at the deadline from a you know standing standpoint. So Brooklyn's, you know, they're down about five or six. But obviously if you can, in theory, if you can get a first round matchup, you will want to be a, you know playing against the Brooklyn Nets because they're not the team that got up to four, five, six out east. They're supposed to be a bad team, and they've had some really bad games in the midst of this. But Mikael Bridges, how about him? You know, a huge scoring outbursts, a couple of those bad boys since the trade. And now the Brooklyn Nets got to look around and say, yo, is this a guy that we build around going forward? forward? Are we closer to the start of this rebuild than we thought? Have we already found one of the few pieces should we go make trades to go bring in a couple other premier guys with some of these assets that we got? Or do we trade Bridges? Is he too good for what we're trying to do going forward? Do we want to completely start this thing from scratch? And will Mikael Bridges hinder that process going forward? It's a really good conversation. And obviously, we know Joe Sy and, and Brooklyn, they've done some pretty suspect things over the last couple of years. So I'm interested to see where that one goes going forward. But it is a real convo. Like, they have to consider... Bridges being a little better than maybe they even thought he'd be. Again, the Nets winning a couple games more than maybe they would have liked to. I know they don't own some of their picks going forward because of the Harden trade, but Bridges is really good. I think he's better than a lot of us thought. I always liked Bridges a lot. I'm not one of those guys that didn't think he could ball, but he's even exceeded my expectations. I didn't think he could be a number one on a team winning games over the number two seed Pretty much been the best team this whole year in the Boston Celtics. I ain't think that. Bridges leading the, the Nets, coming back from 28, biggest comeback of the year over the Celtics. <laughs>